Hi guys, Tom here, America's favorite hoarder. What does beer, England, an old spoon, a can of paint, and a paintbrush have in common? You guessed it. Mm, my chicken coop. As you can see, it's almost done. Well, it is pretty much done. It should be big enough to hold three or four hens. I've got a nice four by four, lack of a better word, skid, sled, that it sits on over here, which is nailed to this barrier two by six here, which is attached to this what did I say four by four? Mm, four by six. Four by six, four by six. Which goes over to this two by six. Which goes over to this other four by six. Here. Here's where the chickens will go in. I have to make some type of door. I've got the hinged door here. You remove the locking mechanism. I don't know if you can see it or not. We got some shadows. There it is. Yep, an old nail. Put that in my pocket so you don't lose it. And I lift up this knob. No, the top doesn't go up, but you would lift up the knob and pull out the bottom. And there you have it. You would reach in and grab your eggs, which would be down there hopefully one day soon, maybe. Hopefully. Look at all the chickens. Do you see them? No, nope, neither do I. Maybe this weekend. Like I said, I had to paint this. And if you're wondering about this, what I've got going on with this beer and spoon, and well, I found the spoon in the trash. Never throw anything away. Yep, scrap metal. I found the paintbrush in the trash as well. And I figured I might need that one day. Who doesn't need extra paintbrushes? The beer I bought. And the third one since I've gotten home from work. So cheers. Yep. Or should I say, no, it's not Bud Light. Or any Anheuser-Busch product. She'll never touch my mouth again. And the paint, well, it's Rust-Oleum Protective Enamel. It's $16 a quart. But it's gloss sunrise red, and what I wanted was a nice red paint, like on the side of a barn. Because when I get done painting this, it will be like a barn. So let me move my can. No, not that can. This can over here. Hold on, one more squig. Good there. I'll put this down here for the moment. Maybe not. Hold on. Maybe put it there. All right, stay. And we'll move the paintbrush and the spoon over here. You guys stay over there. And, yep. We've shaken the paint quite well. And amazingly enough, if you're wondering what that black thing is, it is hmm, the case for a microwave. I was going to put it inside, and I actually thought about hammering closed the vents and making a canopy. I said, yeah, no, chickens might not appreciate that. But I said, hey, look at that. If you put this like this and that like that, it's almost a nice 90 degree angle. It's good enough for a shelf. So I've been using it for a shelf. I put my hammer and nails up there while I work on the outside. Well, maybe not nails, but the hammer and my electric screwdriver and stuff like that. So we'll move this over here for the minute. <clears throat> Let's see what this paint looks like, shall we? This glare or something else. I've got the nice 430 sun up there shining down on me. It is a nice day finally. No sporadic rainstorms and no crazy wind. 
Although it is quite windy, but not terrible like it was yesterday. I'm going to set this here and open up this can of paint. Hopefully you got a view here. Ye old spoon found in trash and the shaking can of paint. Pop this open. Look at that. It works. Never throw anything away. Even an old spoon. Or an old paintbrush. Well, there you have it. Didn't even get any paint on the spoon. That's amazing. We'll put the spoon inside. How does it look? Oh. No. I hope I'm still recording. Yep. Look at that beautiful red. So there we have it. The old paintbrush. Get some of the dust off of it. Let's see what happens here. Look at that color red. A fine barn red. Just slop it on nice and thick. Get under all the nooks and crannies. There. I will have the prettiest chicken coop in all of Kansas City. So, I'm not going to bore you with the details of my painting. Because as you can see, this may take a while. With all the, what do you call it? Reconstructed plywood. Just splotch it in there and get all the nooks and crannies again. And then go back and forth to even it out. But hey, that's my day. I've got a couple hours to get this done. I don't know what's going to happen to the paintbrush if I try to save the paintbrush once I stop painting. So, this is the beautiful picture. It. I'll give another update in a couple days when it's all painted. Maybe a door attached and a canopy. But that's my job for today. Thanks for watching. Keep hoarding. Bye bye. Where's that beer? It's over there.